Okay guys, so let's start talking about Mother's Day. I know we've had a few preliminary meetings to discuss direction and inspiration. All right, well we can go first. Um, Mikhail and I are working in the demo zone. Um, so our main concept, I think we wanted to do something that was big and architectural and really make a presence. So we were thinking if we removed the fireplace right. and the monitor, we have that whole big chiclet wall that we could do something with. And in our research, we found these beautiful floral walls that we did a little research and we found that Z Gallery actually sells these in white in a couple different styles. And we thought if we just give them like a little shimmer of paint, uh, we could do an entire wall that looks very similar to what our inspiration was. I think it would make a great impact. I agree. Um, and he said a little shimmer, so it's not going to be like a lot. You know, I don't really want to be dirty. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you know, I like glitter. <laughs> what are your thoughts on our furniture? Well, we're in the midst of trying to negotiate right now with our, our good friends at Grandin Road. What we're hoping is that we can get some outdoor furniture pieces um, that uh, still fit within the style of where we think we want to go with this. So we don't want to have something too chunky, outdoor-ish, something that's a little bit more streamlined. My name is Kelly and I'm the creative director here at the Steve Harvey Show and I just wanted to take a minute or two and show you guys kind of what we've been working on the past couple months which is our Mother's Day set which is our last big set installation for season three. It went by so fast. Um, but just kind of wanted to show you around some of the different areas we did on set. Um, the art department started planning and prepping for this set about two months ago and we found inspiration through English gardens. This is our demo area. We call this our demo area because this is where Steve normally does his sit-down chats. It's sort of our home base. Um, what we've done here, based on the English garden design thought and concept, was to start with a homemade rug that we made. It's a DIY rug of faux stone and artificial turf, which makes it feel a little bit more like outdoor. Um, as you can see, we have this beautiful outdoor furniture all provided to us by our great friends at Grandin Road. Now, Grandin Road came and helped us out with Christmas. They did such a great job. We partnered up with them again, and this is what they were able to deliver, some beautiful outdoor furniture. So thank you, Grandin Road. And what's behind me? This is the creme de the creme of the entire studio. It is our flower wall. Now, when we were going through our inspirations, and we go through all sorts of magazines and look for DIY inspirations, we saw a flower wall that we thought, we can do this and we could do it even better. So, we contacted our friends over at Z Gallery, who were able to help us purchase some of these amazing flowers. Also notice that it's all about the small final touches. Butterflies were really our theme. So here we did two beautiful boxwood walls on either side of our flower wall and created some beautiful butterfly prints. Come on this way. Now, over here, this is Mikey Shrek, Hi. partner in crime, also one of our set decks, and him and I are going to walk you through our center. We have lots of boxwoods and of course beautiful planters, again provided by our great friends at Grandin Road, filled with lots of live flowers, which Mikey does a really great job of taking care of. In our center entrance, we thought this would be the best place to do our most literal interpretation of our inspiration of English garden. So we went uh, to our floral wholesaler and special ordered all of these potted flowers. They are all live, they are all in pots, uh, but we've got some beautiful pink hydrangea, pink tulips, white hyacinth, uh, we've got some English ivy, English garden. Here we have some great statement pieces provided by our friends at Grandin Rose. These are from their David Bromstad collection. And then moving over here to our pillars, this is another of our DIY projects. We've cut custom frames to fit around the monitors that are inset in our pillars. 
Then we painted them with an iridescent paint and then covered them with a crystal glitter. We gave them a coat of just a, a white Elmer school glue and then crystal glitter. And then we custom cut all of these paper butterflies. Uh, thanks for joining us for the set for. And be sure to tune into the show during the week of Mother's Day. Steve has a lot of really, really amazing things planned for the show. Uh, happy Mother's Day and see you in season four.